physically that it's mostly a mental sensation. If you can sit with it, that the, the pangs, the sensations will go away, and you won't be hungry. And you'll notice if you do it often enough that the weight is just dropping off, and that even fasting is real easy to do, as, we're, as we'll talk about a little bit tomorrow before we get into uh, continuing on cysteine and connective tissue. You actually feel better. You actually feel better when you don't eat. You actually feel better when you fast. And many people know, who've experienced fasting, know that uh, when it comes time to eat again after a fast, it's almost like a, a sensation that you don't want to eat. You don't want to burden your, fo- your body with food. And that really is a healthy state, a healthy state of affairs. When you feel like you don't want to eat, you don't want to burden your body with food. And you also find that when you do eat again, you have a tendency to eat peppers and cucumbers and vegetables rather than going and munching and processed food. And I guarantee you, after a good fast, a one or two days, a one or two day fast, the last thing you're ever going to want to do is eat a McDonald's hamburger. The last thing you're ever going to want to do is put put fast food, garbage type food in your belly after it's been all clean, your body's been all clean and pristine from a couple of days of fasting. Okay, let's see, we'll, we'll finish this up tomorrow. I've got a couple more things I want to tell you. I'll tell you why you don't want to eat breakfast, how you like that, or at least you don't want to eat a big breakfast. Uh, that's one of the one of the worst uh, health strategies you could ever do is sit and eat a huge Denny's type all-you-can-eat pancake breakfast. Uh, we'll tell you about that tomorrow as we continue talking about food and fasting and connective tissue and cysteine and and skin on the bright side. We'll do that tomorrow. Uh, time to hit our phones, 855-660-4261. Let's go off to Texas and say hi to Julie. What's up, Julie? Welcome to the bright side. Hey, good morning. Thanks. How are good you? Good morning. I'm doing great. How about you? Good. Thanks. I just wanted to pass something by you. Mm-hmm. Um, my daughter, she is eight, and last week she was sent home um, with impetigo okay. on her lower lip and chin. Uh-huh. Um do you want to tell me what to do, or can I tell sure. you what I was doing? Because it's getting better. You know, they wanted me to go straight to the doctor and get... You don't need to go to the... Well, no, I didn't. I went straight the opposite direction, but I picked up some 100 ppm um, colloidal silver. Okay. Um, I was going to say that. Cl- bentonite clay. I made a pack with that. Nice. And putting that on it, and she's been taking the silver internally, then alternating away from that, um, giving her a spray. It's a PRP um, from colostrum. Okay. Um, spray on on the thing and in her mouth, and higher doses of a uh, high. It's called turmeric supreme. And okay. Then, um, Sounds like you got some good strategies there. Is she doing better? She's doing better, but she's a picker, and so I'm having to sleep okay. literally like on her arms. So she's. <laughs> Well, okay. um, losing some sleep, but that's okay. It is getting better, but then giving her some aloe vera. Um, and Good. Some You're doing all the right oil. things. You're doing all the Anything right things. Anything else? No, yeah, I'd be focusing. You know, uh, impetigo for the listeners is a bacterial infection on the skin. Anytime you have a bacterial infection on the skin, that means something. The, there's something in the immune system that's not controlling those bacteria. We all have bacteria on the skin. We all have staph on our skin. We all have strep on our skin. But it doesn't always blossom into a full-blown skin infection. If that does occur, I'd be looking, I'd be, I'd be focusing on why the immune system is not doing its business, why it's not controlling these things. And chances are you're going to find an immune load. Something is overburdening the immune system. That can come from two directions. One direction is the bad stuff is getting in. The other direction is not enough of the good stuff is getting in. The bad stuff is always going to be problem foods. So dairy, uh, eggs, peanuts, soy, grains of all kinds, not just gluten, grains of all kinds. These can all be uh, produced. Uh, act as loads on the digestive system, which can burden the immune system. If she has bowel movement problems, gas, bloating, those can all be signals, too, that the immune system is being overloaded. So I'd be focusing on digestive health first. Use probiotics. Get her on a good probiotic supplement. If she can take capsules, get her on the BioLumin Nightly Essence and eliminate problem foods. Then you might want to use supplements that help boost the immune system. Of course, vitamin C is the king of immune-boosting nutrients. Vitamin A is also very important. Uh, If she's not getting vitamin A, In a supplemental fashion, she may not be getting enough vitamin A. It's hard to find vitamin A in foods, mostly animal foods, liver, and that uh, organ meats are your best sources of vitamin A. Uh, Zinc is also very important for children especially because zinc is involved in growth and development. So children, if they're not supplementing with zinc, can run deficient very quickly. Again, zinc is found in high-protein foods like vitamin A, and zinc and vitamin A actually work together. So you might want to try supplementing with maybe 20 or 30 milligrams a day of zinc as well as maybe 5 or 10,000 milligrams a day of 
vitamin A. You'll find all of these in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the Ultimate Daily products as well. So you're going to uh, watch out for digestive problems, boost the immune system, and then topically, your strategies are wonderful. Aloe, noni, bentonite clay. Uh, you can even use topical algae or topical spirulina. That sometimes helps. Colloidal silver is a great idea. Lugol solution, which is iodine, that's got some wonderful antibacterial properties too. Tea tree oil, neem oil. There's lots of lots of things you could try, but you're you're definitely doing all the good things, Julie. So, uh, kudos to you. Hats off to you for for uh, staying away from the doctor. Like he said, you went the opposite direction. That's usually a good idea, unless you need surgery, unless you you know break your ankle or or, or tear your medial meniscus or whatever. So you need some kind of traumatic uh, surgery from some t- traumatic injury. It's a good idea to go the other way from your medical professional. So uh, you're on the right track, Julie. Thanks so much for your call. Anything else going on that I can help you with? Um, no, thank you. I mean, okay, that's good. pretty good for now. I appreciate it. All Thanks. All right, so good deal. Take care. God bless and good luck with your daughter there. Okay, uh, Japan. Jack is in Japan. Wants to talk to us. What's going on in Japan there, Jack? Welcome to the bright side. Hello, I'm a listener in Japan. Uh, Great. Hello. Uh, my question is, you know, uh, first thing is good to you said, you know. My question is, we are taught in Japan that uh, you can skip the breakfast. To keep the sugar level for the brain, but uh, according to your theory, you know, uh, skipping the breakfast is good for the immune system. Is that yes. right? Yes, yes. Skipping breakfast is a very, very good idea. See, we don't we don't eat during the during the night. Obviously, we're sleeping. We wake up in the morning, and the first thing we do for most of us is we go get some food. But if you continue not eating for as long as possible, what you're in effect doing is you're ex- extending the fasting period. So not only you're fasting during the night, but now you're extending the fasting period into the early part of the morning. So you're, in effect, what you're doing is giving yourself a longer period of uh, a longer food holiday, a longer break. And we talked about how. Now, fasting uh, saves body, the body precious resources. Well, now you're just saving even more resources. If you're going to eat in the morning, eat very uh, uh, as little as possible. Maybe an egg or a small amount of uh, uh, protein smoothie. Hang tight, Jack. We've got to take a break, and I'll finish up when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. Howdy, folks. Pharmacist Ben here, nutritional pharmacist and skincare chemist. If you've heard me on my daily health and wellness program, The Bright Side, you know I'm on a mission to spread the good news about the power of nutritional supplementation to correct your health care challenges and get you feeling vital and healthy once again. I want you to call 877-279-9422 and check out the powerful, affordable line of nutritional products from Longevity, the ones I take and the ones I recommend. That's 877-279-9422 or go to www.gcnminerals.com. Why simply mask your symptoms with toxic pharmaceutical drugs when you can address causes with vitamins and minerals? I suggest the Healthy Start Pack. It gives your body the essential 90 nutrients it needs. Most people notice a difference right away. You can sign up to help me spread the good news of health and wellness without drugs and maybe make a little money too. And while you're there, don't forget to check out my important video message. That's GCNminerals.com or call 877-279-9422. And remember, friends, good nutrition is good medicine. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. It's time to get your green on with the great green sale from Freeze-Dry Guy. Now through St. Patrick's Day, March 17th, cases of delicious freeze-dried vegetables, green beans, and green peas are now on sale at veteran-owned freeze-dryguy.com. You don't need to be Irish to feel like you have pots of gold with a healthy supply of these delicious, nutritious green vegetables. They're perfect for your emergency preparedness needs or outdoor activities from camping to RV travel. Green beans and green peas, easy to prepare, easy to enjoy, and now easier than ever to buy. 
How about some green backs in your wallet or purse just for ordering? Act now, and Freeze Dry Guy will give you $25 in survival bucks for every case you purchase by St. Patty's Day. So get your green on now, veggie lovers. Call 866-404-3663, 866-404-FOOD, or log on to freezedryguy.com, freezedryguy.com. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. Not just an alternative to the mainstream media. We're the premier independent talk radio network. We are GCN. We're back on the bright side. We lost Jack in Japan. If you're still listening, Jack, uh, skipping breakfast or eating a very small... uh, Skipping breakfast is, is in essence, extending the fasting period, which is always a good idea. And then skipping breakfast, um, skipping breakfast, I'm sorry, eating less food for breakfast is also helpful, even if you eat just a small amount, a small amount of a protein smoothie or maybe a hard-boiled egg or a little bit of egg or maybe uh, some vegetable juice or something along those lines. That's a good idea, too. You want to get, you want to make sure you're getting your nutrients. The appropriate caloric restriction kind of diet is the CRAN diet or the CRON diet, C-R-A-N or C-R-O-N. And that stands for calorie restriction with adequate nutrition or calorie restriction with optimum nutrition. If you want to avoid that 10 o'clock crash that most of us have, skipping breakfast or avoiding bre- or uh, eating a small breakfast is a great strategy. You also find that the, uh, if, you tend to, if you do eat breakfast, you tend to eat more during the day. Experiment with this tomorrow. Skip breakfast. Don't eat breakfast. And then notice that you're not quite as hungry. How ironic is that? When you eat bre- uh, you don't eat breakfast, you don't eat food, you'll actually be less hungry, and you'll find that you're eating less during the day. The more we eat, the more we tend to eat. And by the way, you know who it was who invented the famous bacon and eggs and pancake breakfast? Uh, it, was, uh, it wasn't a healthcare professional. It wasn't a medical professional. It was a marketing professional named Edward, Edward Bernays, a propaganda professional. In fact, Edward Bernays actually wrote a book called Propaganda back in the 1920s where he explained to anybody who wanted to read the book how you manipulate the masses, how you manipulate the public using psychological psychological and various marketing techniques, and uh, Edward Bernays is actually known as the father of public relations, and he was one of the first advertisers, and he was the first guy to come up with, for the Beechwood Bacon Packing Company, the Beechwood Meat Packing Company, who's looking to uh, sell more bacon, uh, he came up with the idea of having uh, the famous big breakfast, standard breakfast, bacon and egg breakfast that we still eat today. We've talked about this in the past, but the idea and we need to eat a big breakfast is really based more on marketing than it is on health science. The less you eat, the longer you live. The less breakfast you eat, the better you're going to feel during the day. The less food you eat in the morning, the less food you're likely to eat all day. Hope that helps, Jack. Thanks so much for calling from Japan. Let's move on to AZ, Arizona, and welcome John to the Bright Side. What's up, John? How you doing? Good, Ben. I get so much invaluable. Dr. Wallach and Dr. Clinton, I... Jack, I'm losing you, my friend. Yeah, can you hear me? You're just cutting in and out. Anyway, I get you a call back? Uh, probably not. I'll give you a call tomorrow. Well, do, why don't you ask your question? We'll take it off the air. Okay. The question I've got is, um, it's a mental question. I'm, I'm going to do a long-term fast for Lent, the entire Lent. The, the mental thought of having to choose food, number one, and then incorporating a variety of proteins into my liquid fasting. 
Okay. I, I think I heard you. I, you might want to call back tomorrow because we've got a really bad connection. I think you said incorporating pro, protein into your liquid fasting. Um, and if, I think that's what you said. If, if that's not correct, John, call me back uh, tomorrow when you get a better connection. But as far as incorporating proteins into liquid fast, whey protein goes right in. It's perfect. Uh, eggs, you can always crack a raw egg right in there, uh, right into your protein. And you can also use amino acid supplements. Personally, in my uh, smoothie, I use arginine supplements. I use creatine, which is 